In this video, I want to explain how to take off panels and circuit breakers with um, PlanSwift and Red Rhino software. So you can see I have a single line diagram plan here open. This is a commercial project. It's a small um, retail outlet. It's a clothing store. And I'm on the single line diagram page here. Now this is where you want to take off your panels and circuit breakers or switch gear, okay? So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and you can see I have several different panel sizes. Um, this panel is a, a 125 amp. Scroll over here. This one's 100 amp. Scroll down, this one's a 225 amp. So I'm going to take these off, and I'm also going to, also going to show you how to take off circuit breakers. Now, um, let me explain. Uh, since you're going to be digitizing and counting things, then you must have these plans scaled. Sounds kind of goofy, but you got to do it. So I'm going to click the scale drop down here. I scaled this at quarter inch equals one foot. So I don't think it really matters what you have it scaled at. I usually scale it the same as the rest of the drawings. But again, um, you do have to scale these so you can digitize on them. Okay, so I did. Let me close that window. Now next, let me show you how to just drill down in the product catalog uh, so you can start counting um, and accounting for panels and circuit breakers. So I'm going to go over here in the product catalog, click on the plus sign. I'm going to drill down to 8, product 8,000. And again, I'm looking for panels. Let me move this over here a little bit. We can't read everything. Going to resize the plans. Okay, so here's where panels 100 amp to 400 amp are. And I'm just going to show you this. I probably won't do it in this video, but down here a little bit further is switch gear up to 4,000 amps. Okay, so Red Rhino has labor built in. This is labor only for commercial stuff, um, labor only for panels. 100 amp to 400 amp here, and up to 4,000 amp right here. Now I'm going to drill down in the 100 amp to 400 amp, and when I click the plus sign, it displays a list of panels that Red Rhino has in it. So what I'm going to do is then, I'm going to zoom in on these plans. This is a 125 amp panel. I'm going to go click on the 125 amp panel. That one's 277, 480 volt. I'm going to click on the green dot to digitize. And then when I do, it asks me what section I want this to go in. Now, I set up this Red Rhino um, estimate already with sections, which were imported into um, Plan Swift, and that's a different video. But each time that you select something, it does ask you what section you want it to go in. This is all, it was already preset for panels and feeders. I'm just going to select panels and feeders here so you know how it goes. I'll click on OK, and when I do, it starts digitizing, OK? So I can start counting things. Now, I have, again, a 125 amp, 277, 480 volt. I'm just going to go ahead and click right here next to the panel size here, and it it digitizes with a little mark. Now, I look quickly and see if I have any other 125 amp panels. I'm just going to do this real quick, okay? So here's a, uh, here's a 600 amp panel. Here's a 225. Another 225. Here's another 125, but it's a 12208 volt. So I'm not going to count this at this time. And let me see, that's all the panels there. So that's it for that. I'm going to stop digitizing. And then I'll go to the next panel that I want to take off. Here's a uh, 100 amp, 3 pole, 12208. So here's my 100 amp, 12208. Digitize. Make sure it's the right section or, or select the right section. Click OK. Simply click right next to that. I could click over it if I want. I'm going to, I prefer to click next to it. There we go. It counted the panel. I'm going to stop digitizing. And you simply go through the plans and do that on each panel. Okay, now I'm just showing you the idea of this, so I'm not going to go through and count all the panels. But as I count them, of course, it digitizes over here, counts them. And here's another view. Down here, if you click on Takeoff Summary, it shows a different view, but I can see those panels are listed here. Now eventually we would export those panels to Red Rhino and Red Rhino will load the labor in the estimate for them. Okay, real quick now I'm going to show you the same thing for um, taking off circuit breakers here. Okay, so I'm going to collapse the menu here. I just click the little negative sign next to the file. And then I'm going to go down to circuit breaker termination labor. Now that's at 11015. I just want to point out something else. Here it is. Oops, I slipped off of it.
Yeah, circuit breaker labor termination is here. If I was doing wire terminations at machines or something, I would select wire termination labor. Just want to show you that that's there. Now, I'm going to click on circuit breaker labor termination. Click the little plus sign. It's going to populate all the circuit breakers. I'm going to move it over so we can see it. There we go. So we can read them all real well. Now, one more time, I'm going to zoom in here and show you how to do this. And again, I'm not going to do all these, but I'm just going to show you the idea of it so you get that. So I'm going to, again, zoom in here, and I see that this panel has a whole ton of 20-amp one-pole circuit breakers. See the one-pole and the 20? Now, I want to explain something. You don't need to take off the spare circuit breakers. Right now, we're only capturing labor to, for termination. So when a, a breaker is a spare, you don't have to terminate wires to it. Therefore, you don't have to count it for labor. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and find the one-pole 20-amp. I'm going to digitize. I'm just going to click down. Oh, I got to I select the section here, so click OK. Now, again, I can blow this up some more, but literally I'm just going to go down and count or click on each 20-amp circuit breaker or, or beside it here, and as I do it, it will count them all, okay? Now, this gets a little tedious. It actually happens pretty fast, though. These happen to all be one-pole 20s, and oh, look at that. I accidentally digitized these two. I don't need a spare. I'm going to right-click on it. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and stop digitizing. I'm going to right click on it now, and I'm going to delete the point. Okay, I accidentally took it off there. I don't need to. So I'm not going to delete them all. I'm just going to delete that point. I'm going to do the same with this other spare that I accidentally counted. See, delete the point. Okay, now I'm going to go back over and digitize again and keep going. Click, count the section here. Okay, so here's a lighting circuit breaker circuit. Backroom lighting circuit, dock lights, etc. Okay, now I'm going to go look for, I'm going to stop digitizing and just look for other circuit breakers in different panels. But what you do typically is you just go down here and count or click on every one to account for them all. And sometimes you get into three pole circuit breakers. Here we go. So let me just go ahead and show you that. It's the same thing. You just have to find that three pole circuit, 150 amp circuit breaker. Let me scroll down. This has one pole, two pole, and three pole circuit breakers. See, so I go down here to three pole. Here's a three pole one. 125 and a 150. So I'm going to digitize, oops, digitize the 150. Count that section, just click on it, and boom, it's populated over here. And again, eventually, I'll be exporting all this to Red Rhino. Okay, I hope that shows you how to import or input <laughs> uh, panels and circuit breakers here. That's all for this video.